Hey guys, Dave here, Journey of the Outdoors. Um, new season of uh, Journey of the Outdoors is here, and this is now in HD. Can't wait for it. Got a new, lot of new things coming up, uh, including this boat. I'm going to show you guys a update of the boat later on in the show. Um, but you know, I'm out here white bass fishing, and it doesn't get any better than this. So I can't wait. I'm going to get out there again. Um, just this is a medium size, you know, average size uh, white bass. You know, he's probably maybe uh, 12, 13 inches, and uh, he's not too bad. But I'm um, gonna get out here and get some more fish. And today we're white bass fishing on Hoover, Hoover Reservoir. All right, all right, all right. So today what we're using is um, a traditional rig, uh, pretty much for a lot of different fish. Um, you can catch a a lot of different things on it uh, but basically a jig head and a twister tail so a grow up whatever you want to call it but um these things are very effective and you always want to start small because you just never know what size the fish are looking for they can bite small ones or like 116 132 um a quarter or you know, just never know what size so i usually start with like one eighth and go from there, one eighth jig head and a and a um, two inch grub. So that's usually about the average size. It's not too big, not too small, but you can go up to like a three or four, depending on what size fish you're fishing for or what size you catch. But start small and go from there. All right, let's get going. So. Time to get to work. So we're basically just starting off, um, you know, kind of putting the edges and uh, not doing too much, but it's just um, kind of casting and cast out maybe 10, 15 feet, whatever, you know, as long as you can cast. But um, you basically slow retreat back. And we have a little dock here, people in the background there. Um, but uh, we're basically just kind of slow trawling it back. And, uh, and it pretty much just usually get a hit. But um, I've been working this little tree, this tree lining right here. And uh, it doesn't take much when these bass get caught up in these areas like this they'll stage and and start spawning and this is basically just a little a little creek um, that breaks off of the main the main lake and you can catch a lot of different sizes of fish it's kind of working the side in the edge and I mean just kind of going with the wind there's very little wind today though, so I'm probably using my trolling mo my tr I'm using my trolling motor more than I would like to, but um, that's that helps with the calm water. And white bass love calm water. So I'm just gonna keep working this edge. If you don't get a bite after a couple of casts, um, slow it down. Slow it down and, and, and try and really uh, let it stay in the front of the face of the fish for a while. Just slow it down a little bit. Usually they're not getting the chance to chase it or hit it. Alright, so. Rooster tails work well too. Um, those usually catch fish pretty well, but you can't beat a grub. And I'm getting some little roll over there. Alright, so. Alright, now, now that I've shown you the technique, all you have to do is keep doing that. I'll get back to you when we get a fish on. Hopefully this book 
bluegill is going to think there is a nice tasty treat here. And hopefully. So. I'll just get it a little bit closer to a tree. Bluegills. Bluegills seem to like structure um, like that. There is one. Just like that. I just threw that out there. And this is a smaller one. Actually, huh, funny that, that would be a shad. Um, I don't think I've ever caught a shad. He just gave me a wet kiss. <laughs> But I don't think I've ever caught a shad on on a bait before. <clears throat> and he has such a small, small, I'm just going to have to do some surgery here. Got my old trusty clippers here. And um, because he is so... He is so detrimental to fish making it through the you know spring and through the winter time i'm going to put him back <clears throat> especially one of that size i would have liked to cut him up and done catfishing just again just to say again that's how your fishing can change that would have turned into catfishing very quickly um, but just by catching a shad. But now, what I'll do is, I will put a marker, a waypoint on my fish finder right here so I will know where to come back and catch these types of species because this will be a nice bait, a nice bait fishing area. You know, if I was netting or something like that or something of the sort. But, and not today. I am just fishing a little isolated island right here. Well, I mean that's what an island is, it's isolated. But but I'm fishing this little island that um is is pretty flooded right now and uh the water's high, but um it, it's it's attracting these fish to give them a place to really um get some cover. There's another one. He'll take it. There he goes. There he goes. Alright, so. You know, sometimes I don't go after just all the big fish, you know. Sometimes I'll just like to enjoy a little bit of, you know, just a little bit of fishing in general. So, I mean, it's it's a really nice, it's a really nice thing to be able to go out and just have a nice day of fishing but I'm gonna have to do some surgery on this little guy too if I can get my clippers you should have your boat usually cleaned up and organized but I just kind of been throwing everything with the kitchen everything plus the kitchen sink towards them today nice one Gonna throw this little guy back, and uh, now <clears throat> here's the thing. I have a couple of of um, things going on here. I have a slip bobber, which is you know pretty standard, but with my bait, I gave them an option, two options, and that was either a wax worm. Or a mealworm. Now I have not caught one, not yet, not one on the mealworm yet. So that's just to let you know how it goes. All right, we're gonna take a quick break and um, come back, and we're gonna do the tip here. So you know, it's just a great thing to be able to come out and oh well he's got me hooked up uh, there he is. 
so it's just a great thing to be able to come out and um, you know really put the put the hammer on these fish um, they love doing this and I'm gonna show you something really quick um, this is a really good tip as to always if you're gonna be doing something like this uh, fishing into brush the best thing to do is use thin wire hooks if you know you're not gonna be catching something huge use a thin wire hook because it will straighten out and you'll be able to keep your rig and it'll save you money you know and everybody else knows that watch my videos I'm about saving money um, so you can spend it on hunting.